Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. It is new vocation beer time and it is their new release. And it's this one. It is Al Rahi. Uh, this is a double IPA. I think it's pronounced Al Rahi. O Rahi, something like that. Um, it is the highest mountain in New Zealand. For those of you who are interested, um, there it is there. I'm assuming that's the mountain in blue and red or a silver can. It's a double IPA, weighing in at 8%, as it says so there. I uh, best before on this one, if I can find it. Oh, that's unusual. There's no best before on this card that I can see. There's no best before on it, it just isn't there. So, I got a moment. Oh, I do apologise. I've got a couple of other cans. And uh, on the bottom of one, it is November 22. And on the bottom of the other one, it's a very smeared 22. So, potentially the end of the can line when it was running out of ink. Who knows? <coughs> but there you go. So, this is on vocation website at the moment for a uh, fork in a can. I, I bought a six pack which makes out like a £3.70 a can. I, I'll put the link down there if you want to go and pick yourself up a couple. It says on the back, uh, reach dizzying, dizzying heights uh, at the peak of Ariki uh, with this fruity and uh, fruity, fruity mix of fresh and juicy and New Zealand hops. Uh, four hops, four hop varieties added at various stages throughout the, the brew to make this a double IPA to be reckoned with. It says it's hazy, fruity and juicy. I am full to the brim with flavours of tropical and stone fruits and a soft bitterness on, on the finish. Crack open this can and celebrate the success at the peak of your day. It says that there. I am Hop wise, it is a uh, Watuka, Nelson Sorvin, uh, Motueka, and Rahu. Yeah, it says that here. So, let's pop the top, see what we've got. Now, full disclosure, I have had a can of this before. So, I know what it tastes like. I had a can yesterday. Let's get into the glass anyway. Okay, so beer in a glass, what have we got? Hazy, fruit juicy looking, looking beer, there's no light getting through that at all. We've got a finger and a half of densely compact white head, bubbles across the top are a little bit fluffy, if the camera can pick that up, I don't want to tip it too much. Um, it does, does look good. Right, let's get the nose so we can smell, let's go for it. Oh, it's a sticky nose right in it. Um, you do get tropical fruit, oh, you do get peaches, you do get apricots, I, it smells I, of just ripe tropical fruit. I, maybe even a little hint of, of like a citrusy note to it, but it smells good, it does smell good, it smells a little bit sweet, so let's go for the body and the carb, cheers. First of all, you don't get any of the 8% ABV at all. The body is light and smooth, velvety. Carbonation is soft. Um, as a double IPA goes, it's not good. It's not a bad, that bad mouthfeel, not bad carbonation. Let's go for the big taste. Cheers. It's really tasty, very, very good. I, um, it opens up with the tropical fruit, and it, it's not, it's just, it, it's, it's you, know, you, get, you get some some fruit that are just under, short of being right by a couple of days that are still a little bit woody. <coughs> That's what I've got. Um, 
you get you get a, a, a peach apricotty thing, but there's an earthiness to it as well. There's an earthy bitterness to it. Um, and it's really good. It goes right throughout the beer and starts to build up as build as the yeah, towards the back end. And it is that like, it is soft, but it's there because the other flavors from the fruit are starting to from the fruit the from the, the tropical fruit start to fade. Slap bag in the middle is a little stove fruit sweetness. It's, it's good. It's that, that earthy, earthy dry finish that I quite like. And it, it's pulling moisture out of my mouth. It's lovely. <coughs> As double IPA goes, there are better IPA, double IPAs out there on the market than this. But this is good. It's solid. It's tasty. It's juicy. It's fruity. It is exactly what it says on the tin. I am, <coughs> and I like it. And like I say, I've got, got two more. I'll do it now, I've got, I've got a, a hint of a sideways glass of a can of carbon there for a minute. Yeah, it's lovely. It really is lovely. They've made better double IPAs, but they've made some if you want. I, but this one's a really good one, a really good one. Like I say, solid, well made, well put together, tasty, juicy, fruity. Dry, does exactly what it says in the tin. Well done. Vocation again. So, this is Vocations Ariki. I think I say pronounce it. I looked the pronunciation on Google and it was pretty much something like that. And I say it was uh, Mount Cook in New Zealand. Anyway, um, Ariki or Oriki. Uh, yeah, Oriki, possibly. Anyway. Um, <coughs> forgive my pronunciation. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the vocation website, as I said earlier, in the descriptions where you can buy this. Again, four quid a can, six, um, six pack is 22, I think it is, 370 a can. Um, anyway, there you go. So, thumbs up the video. Thumbs up if you don't. Subscribe to that bottom corner down there, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay alert, stay safe. Here we go.